Sports Radio 790 The Zone continuing on a Thursday morning. A gentleman everybody in town I think has been waiting to hear from, and we'll hear from him right now. He's Josh Childress, and he joins us on uh, the AT&T Zone phone on 790 The Zone. Good morning, Josh. Good morning. How you guys doing? Very good, sir. Uh, right out of the gate, uh, is, how much are the Atlanta Hawks responsible for the fact that you are now going to be playing your basketball in Europe? <laughs> uh, I think that they are... Uh, very responsible for that. Um, uh, it, you know, it, my time in Atlanta was great. Uh, and I, was, I first wanted to say thank you to all the fans. Um, you know, you guys were were great uh, for me in my four years there. Uh, but, um, you know, back to the, the subject, um, I felt like they were responsible because, you know, they had the power. You know, they had the power to get something done. Um, I, I told... Um, ownership actually before the process even started that, that I wanted to get something done early. And, um, you know, that was my expectation. Um, you know, I didn't want to have a long, drawn-out process and, you know, a summer where I couldn't play and couldn't, um, you know, really, uh, you know, work out like I wanted to. So, um, you know, when that stuff, um, you know, started dragging out further and further, uh, you know, I was I, I got – I got to the point where I had to, to, to find something that that allowed me to to not <clears throat> be the one who's who's getting taken advantage of. Did you get the sense that when they first found out about you, or at least the possibility of you going to Greece, that they didn't take it seriously? Oh, I definitely think so. Um, you know, my agent told uh, Mr. Sun on numerous occasions, um, you know, that I was going, that this thing was serious. And uh, I, I think that, that he thought we were bluffing. Um, you know, it, it, uh, there was no change in urgency. There was no change in, uh, in the contract on the table. And, uh, you know, I decided to take the trip. Josh Childress with us on the AT&T Zone phone at 790 The Zone. Their argument is they were offering you more money than anybody else. Their argument is, I think, seven, uh, f- five years, around $35 million, around $7 million a year that you would have come in at. And then at the end of the day, you know, you, you would have been paid uh, a lot of money, uh, more money than any other NBA team would have paid you. But you made a decision to go play somewhere other than with the best players in the world. Okay. Well, let me, let me uh, squash that now. Um, they did not offer me more money than any other team. Uh, I got offered uh, much more lucrative contracts by two by by two um, championship caliber teams um, in, in sign and trade deals. Uh, and when I say much more lucrative, I mean um, considerably um, considerably more. Um, and I would have been in a starting role in both of those situations. Um, as far as their contract, uh, that is not what Atlanta offered me. Um, it was uh, five years, thirty-three, and uh, you know maybe that was something that they that they said after the fact. But um, uh, you know, once we were going through this process and 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 um, you know we were on the table, um, that's not what was offered. Uh, the the deal originally started well below the mid level. Um, and I was told to go find another offer, uh, you know, because I wasn't happy with that one. A lot so of I went to the marketplace. Huh? No, I'm sorry. I uh, went to the marketplace, uh, found two better offers that involved sign and trades. Um, uh, there was no willingness to do those, um, so I looked elsewhere, and that elsewhere was Greece. <laughs> a lot of people have talked about the relationship of Josh Smith and Mike Woodson. Mike Woodson comes back on a two-year deal. Did that come into play for you at all? Your minutes got diminished last year with Coach Woodson. Was there any thought of, I'm not, no, no, I'm not necessarily sure I want to actually play for that guy? No, that never came into question for me. Um, you know, but obviously, you know, as a player, um, you want you want to get better over time. You want to have the opportunity to get better over time, and uh, you know I felt like like uh, my role was was very very set there. Um, you know even even throughout my throughout the uh, with my teammates, I was kind of I was viewed as 
you know, the six man and, 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 you know, the guy who, who comes in and brings energy and, and, and wants to, 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 you know, be that guy. And, and, you know, as a, as a player, as a competitor, as a person, you know, you always want to, to, to have the opportunity to, um, to, you know, maybe compete for a starting spot or to, um, you know, be viewed as, as, um, you know, someone who is, is more than a uh, rebounder and a, and a, a, uh, flat, a finisher. It's, it, you know, it's, it's just, it's personally wanting to, to, to be better. And, um, you know, so I think, I think that that came into play more than, um, you know, Coach Woodson. Was it ever communicated to you that uh, the spot in the starting rotation was not going to, again, be a competitive situation, that Marvin was going to have that spot or somebody else, and that we like what you do, as you said, come in, play defense, give energy, finish on the break, but that's who Josh Childress is and will continue to be if he stays in Atlanta? Um, I think that, that uh, just through the past years, uh, it's been communicated. I mean, it, it doesn't have to be said, um, you know, but – um, you know, Marvin's a great player. I'm not taking nothing against him. He's one of my really good friends. Um, you know, but there, there still um, should be competition. You know, there, there shouldn't um, necessarily be uh, a guy, you know, who works hard, who has no chance of, of moving up, you know. Um, even days when, when, you know, some games when Marvin was out or, or – somebody else was out, I still didn't start, you know, and, and I don't want to make it seem like I'm, it's all about starting and it's all about me, um, you know, but there's just, there's times where, you, you know, as a player, you want to, you want to be able to grow and you want to be able to, to, to uh, you know, grow into a bigger role. And uh, I felt like that role um, was kind of carved out and, 